Or did you get up early this morning and see it? It's a beauty, isn't it? If you didn't, you do have another chance tonight. Right now, the moon, as you know, is the closest it has been to the Earth in nearly 70 years. And the supermoon is shining a light, actually, on a problem that a lot of people deal with all the time. The now's Alana Quillen is live this afternoon for us in Delray Beach to explain. Alana? Mm -hmm. Well, Shannon, this is what people in this neighborhood here on Marine Way are dealing with. The intercoastals right here, the water is spilling over and filling the streets with water, filling the drains, and creeping all the way up to their front doors, which is just right here. You now, it's low tide right now. High tide is not expected until 9 p.m. tonight. But besides the seawall, these sandbags are the only thing to help keep the water away. Even during uh, the last hurricane, it wasn't as high. King tide and the supermoon, a complex combination further feeding into flooding fears. Intercoastal dwellers like David Froman are working to keep the waters at bay. You learn to watch the moon, watch the tide cycles, and how much bigger it's going to be. Over the years, he and his wife have seen the water come up through their floors. Now he's afraid it'll happen again. What have you all done to prevent that from happening? You can't do anything. You could raise the house up like they would in Louisiana, mm -hmm. but that's not going to happen. Marine Way is one of the oldest streets in Delray with aging drainage to boot. Here's an exclusive look from above from Chopper 5. You can see the high tide is too much for the seawall. If you have to move some furniture around or put things up on wooden blocks for the stuff you can't move, mm -hmm. just do the best you can. Local business like nearby Deck 84 are keeping an eye on the rising water. Many of their customers arrive by boat. It affects some of our customers because, for example, last night it was so high, a lot of the boats couldn't get through under the bridge. While the super moon will brighten the sky for the last time tonight, the problems presented by high tide will continue to threaten coastal homes across the area. So what is the city of Delray Beach doing to prevent homes from flooding? I sit down with an environmental specialist of the city to talk about plans to fight the high tides. But is it too little too late for some of the people that live here? That is new tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Delray Beach, I'm Alana Quillen for the Now South Florida. Alana.